Okay, so for aesthetic purposes, we're going to physically give our three main dim tags, which consist of our news tag, our main content tag, and our site nav over here. We're going to give it a physical height for now. Now, in general, I usually let the content build the height of the div tags, but I'm just going to share a concept with you. Now, if I scroll down, notice that looks like half my comp is cut off. This is basically a screen problem with the screen. So if you hit command minus, command minus, you'll see you have your entire comp back. So command minus. There's my comp. So I want to basically see how high these comps are going to be. So I'm going to basically take this guide and drag it down to here. And the distance between point A and point B, that's how high those comps, those div tags are going to be at 1,082. I'm just going to change it to 1,082 for now for the purposes of visually understanding the concept. So 1,082. So I'm going to go to news and make news 1,082. Okay, now if I have a height, I have to minus that, but I have no height. So then I'm going to go to main content, and give this a thousand eighty-two. Now in this particular case, I do have some kind of padding from the top, so I get to minus twenty-five pixels from the top. Okay, then side it adds a thousand eighty-two, so a thousand eighty-two. Again, this has top padding, so I need to minus minus. 32 pixels. Now, why do I need to minus? Because anytime you add padding or margin or even border space, it adds to the bill. It adds to the total width and or height of your div tag. So if you want to keep things consistently, so if you know that you want to make this exactly 10, 1050 pixels, and you need to start minusing the margin and padding space. Okay, make a change, save a change. Now, notice that footer is now at the bottom. So if I scroll down here, footer is now at the bottom where it should be. So now we can start building our content, our content. So we're going to zoom in. Um, so now we have our div tags in place using our comp as a guide to build our template. To basically build our div tags on top of the comp. So basically this comp could have been built in any graphics program. Again, I basically did a screenshot of an existing comp and we're going to build CSS on top of it with content, with logos, with graphics. And I'm going to show you the simple, no brainer way to do this. Don't reinvent the wheel. This is how you do it. I make a lot of money doing web development. This is the simplest, greatest approach to doing this. So I'm going to go to view and go to, go to tracing image. And I'm going to unhide my tracing image. So now I have my basic setup for my div tags. I have my branding div tag, select the tag. I have my site nav div tag. Pixel perfect, pixel perfect, exactly on top of the comp. Because I use the comp as a tracing image and I'm building just like in third grade when you couldn't draw, you basically put Bambi, you put some tissue paper on top and you traced over on top of it. This content is the same, but it seems like nobody uses because they're all cut up and going into Photoshop and slicing and dicing and making tables and driving their, themselves insane. Insane. I know web developers that do make a good living at this, but they do wacky, cuckoo, crazy things where this is the simple, simple approach to building websites from a comp. Okay, so here's my div tag. So let's bring back our tracing image. Show our tracing image. Okay, so now we're gonna start putting in content, content. So the first thing we're gonna put in is this logo. Well, this logo is a graphic. Now again, I didn't have to slice and dice it from a graphics program like Photoshop or Illustrator. So I'm going to show you a simple, simple way to do this. Now we're going to put inside the branding tag, we're going to put this as a logo for the site. So we're going to put a separate tag called logo. Then this is going to be banner ad is what this tag is going to be called. So how big make this tag? Well, I'm going to basically put my cursor right here. And the width of this, it's down here by the way, the width of this tag is going to be 254 pixels wide, 254. Now, how do I put it basically inside the branding tag? Well, a simple way to do this is basically double click here, basically call logo. 
So I'm going to copy and I'm going to put logo right there. It's going to wrap the selection. It's inside of the branding tag. So it's going to wrap the selection. So I can copy and paste. And there's a logo. Now, logo doesn't have any rules to it. So for the rules, I'm going to basically make this the width of the div tag, which is 254 pixels wide. So I select the tag, select the tag, make a rule, select the tag, make a rule. Now again, if it helps you to say that logos inside of branding, no issues with that. That's fine. That's totally fine. So I'm going to make this 254 pixels wide. But first, there's padding inside of this branding tag. Now at this point you have a couple of choices. You can choose not to put padding inside the branding and then put the padding inside the, the insertion point inside of the container div. So as an example, logo is going to be inside of branding. So I could put the padding inside of logo and take the padding outside of branding. If that's simpler for you, let's do it that way. So let's go to the branding tag and let's take branding tag and take away, take away all this, which means we need to add back in what? Don't make it zero, it defaults to zero. So we need to add back in 36 pixels plus 36. Okay, so now logo goes to the top left hand corner. Now it fits perfectly because it's 254 pixels wide. If that's a simple approach for you, it's any way you want to do this, but it's just the concept. In this particular case, I'm not putting padding inside the branding tag. Branding tag is edge to edge. Then I could put the padding inside of the container, the divs inside the branding tag, in this particular case, logo. So now logo is going to have padding from the left of 15 pixels and padding from the right of, well, let's not split hairs here. Let's just do padding from the left and Let's do padding from the top of 29 pixels. So the padding for the existing tag here, so branding tag goes inside of the branding logo. Branding logo should go inside of branding. And again, this is going to be 19 pixels high by, by 15 pixels. So 15 by 19. So I hit the pencil icon, I go to the box and I from the top is going to be 19, from the left is going to be 15. Now, there's nothing to take away from the height, but I'm going to take what from here? With 15 is left, minus 15, and I hit OK. So that puts that right here. Now, here's the super cool part. I'm going to take a screen capture of that. Now, Macintosh, it's a very simple approach. Windows, you have to use a third-party utility for this. I'm going to make a screen capture of just that logo. Now, I don't, I don't want to capture, first of all, I don't want to capture these guides, so command semicolon hides the guides. Command semicolon hides the guides. I also don't want to capture the line of div tag. So I'm going to hide my visual eye aids, command shift I, hide the visual aids, and I certainly don't want that logo there. So how do I make a custom screen capture? Very simple, command control shift four. Now important step here, this is not a screen capture that creates to the desktop. This is a screen capture, I'm sure most of you know how to do screen captures. This is a special screen capture that's built into Macintosh to copy to the clipboard. Copy, paste. Command, control, shift, four. Command key, control key, shift key, four key. So command, control, shift, four, select, which you want to affect here, I'll select this. Now, notice that this little goober sitting there. Make sure that it's not there when you command, control, shift, four. Now it's going to appear if you leave your cursor there. So I'm not gonna put my cursor there. I'm gonna put my cursor someplace else, down here. So therefore it doesn't appear inside of there. Command, control, shift, four. Command, control, shift, four. Select what you're going to affect. So I'm gonna select this logo. And what that did, command, control, shift, four, it made a copy. So copy, paste, copy, paste. 
I want to put this into the div tag logo. Make sure the div tag logo is selected. I put my cursor there and I simply paste. Copy, paste, command V. I command control shift for copied, command V, paste. Copy, paste. This comes up. I put my cursor exactly where I want to put it and I paste it. And I hit OK. Now I could make this a PNG file to basically make this transparency. But you're going to have some artifacts in there. So if you just want to make a straight GIF file, we can do that. So there's no reason for this to be a JPEG because it doesn't have continuous tone. We're just going to make this a GIF file. So we're going to hit OK. Now it's going to say, where do you want to save this? So let's save this inside of our images folder, inside the comp1 folder, and we'll call it our logo. Camel case, our logo, or I can do our underscore logo. Now, this is for search engine purposes, so we're going to put in American spelling sometimes helps. Logo. And it's going to put that right there. Now, if you want to position this, if you want to position this the exact specification, you can do this by adjusting the padding of logo, or I can make a rule specifically for the image inside the logo tag. But that looks pretty good so far. Okay, so this is our logo image inside of our div tag. And I did a screen capture. Now, for you guys saying, well, what about quality? What about quality? Well, guess what, guys? The screen, the computer screen on the internet can only show you 72 dots per inch. So what did I just copy? 72 dots per inch. You're not going to get better quality. There's no such thing as better quality. It's 72 dots per inch. When you make a screen capture of a photo, it's the same 72 dots per inch. It's not 600 DPI. It's not 500 DPI. This is not print production. This is not a print brochure, this is the web. So I did the same exact quality by doing a screen capture. Command, control, shift, four copies to the clipboard, paste, copy, paste. Simple, simple, simple. It's a technique you won't see anyplace else because they just don't get it.